Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to do a update on the Document of Life, and then later I'll do an update video on Soul Food and Journal 52. I haven't done updates in this in a while, and I decided to do separate videos because I tend to ramble on a lot. Because I tried to do this before, and I kept getting interrupted, and plus I was talking a lot, so... That's why I decided to do two separate videos. So this is my Document of Life planner. And as you can see, it got kind of fluffy. <laughs> um, I decided to add the rest of the um, weekly pages, the tippins, and um, added the tabs because I first started out, I think this ended like around end of May, not end of May, end of March, I think, and, um, or February. So I printed out a couple more, um, at least a couple more months worth of the weekly um, pages, and I did the tip-ins, and then I decided to do a couple more months, because I, my thinking was once we sell the house, hopefully that will be soon, um, <laughs> I wouldn't know how soon I'll be access to the printer because we are, um, once we sell the house, we're in the, you know, the movers are going to come and move the stuff, take the stuff out that we're bringing and then storing it for a while till we find a, um, we get out there and find a place. And, and um, when we get there, we're going to be staying in, like, an apartment. It's like one of those extended stays type places, but it's not an extended stay. Uh, at least for a month till we find something. So I don't know how long that will be when we get there, and you know how long once we find a place, and then the movers come and bring our stuff. So I decided to just print out the rest of the months. So that's good. then it got really chunky <laughs> after adding all that in there. So I think I left off on this week right here, which is March the 3rd, the week of March 3rd, because my weeks go from Monday to Sunday, and I know Documented Life goes to Sunday to Saturday when the new prompt comes up on the Saturday. So the week's prompt was, um, what makes you you? And I just used um, watered down pink craft paint, surprise, surprise, and some watered down blue um, craft paint. What I do is, because I have, um, I brought a container up of the craft paint, and it's mostly the colors I use in that container, which are the pinks, surprise, surprise, the blues, the um, yellows, and the orange. And I did throw in a couple greens in there. So I can just use them, and um, I also have some new newer craft paint along the way that I bought, and some sprays that I bring. I brought up from downstairs. And I just have it on top of everything on that container. So what I do is I just grab whatever's on top. I do, you know, fish through that container, but it's mostly just grab what's over on top and use it. And those were or on top of the container. So I just you know, painted it on there and used some stencil, circle stencil and sponged it on there and I went over with the big pen. See, I am rambling. <laughs> um, and this is a Prima Girl that I think, no, I, it wasn't Prima that I did for this page. And this was a Sizzix cutout when some, I think, you know, somebody cut, yeah, somebody cut this out for me. I don't have that die and I just glued all four together to make it like a really thick chipboard piece and I painted it with um, bronze luminaire paint and glued it on there and then the alphabet stamps that I used were um, from Ditto from Michaels and I wrote stamped out what makes me me and I wrote sugar and spice and everything nice and then that's my week, and this is, then the, on the flip, I just, you know, smashed in the monthly calendar, and then 
We had um, Jimmy John's one day, and then my mom bought me a Ruster Silver's Red Velvet Egg, and then this was part of a washi tape um, somebody sent me from the Dollarama in Canada, and then now that's. And then the following week was, um, I think flowers or garden or whatever. And I had a stencil or a template of flowers. I think it's by plaid. And I just took some of this paper, which is from Newsworthy, from Paper Studio, Hobby Lobby. And just, you know, traced out the petals. Well, this one I didn't do because I was like, I ain't, I'm not cutting all that out. <laughs> so I did this, um, the sickle flower. And then I took... The, the Star Bright paint, which is the same makers of Luminaire, into the centers of the flowers. And I painted green stems and doodled on the leaves. And this was um, part of another challenge that Artie Dar did for that week, which was birds, or put a, put a burn on it. So I put a burn on it. And the background right here is a Prima tree, no. This isn't Prima. This is Crafter's Workshop, um, the tree stencil. I also have a Prima one, which is the 6x6, and this was the 12x12. 12 12. And then this is my week. And that week I won cookies from Cheryl's Cookies on Facebook. And so I um, smashed in the congratulations notes, and I saved one of the package, package of the cookies. And they're really good. I saw um, sugar cookie with buttercream. And then the Saturday of that week was my cousin's wife um, baby sh baby shower that my his sister threw for her. And my cousin, well, she's also my cousin, his sister. <laughs> um, she made um, bags of pop popcorn. She popped popcorn and put them in little gift bags and with a pink twist tie and then put this tag on there that's so ready to pop with the popcorn. Um, a lot of the things that she did for that shower was from Pinterest inspired. So, so that's that page. And this uh, and this week's or that following week from that was using um, doing a collage or whatever with magazines the images and I did another um, magazine tape transfer, packing tape transfer. This one turned out really cool. Um, this is Sally Henson ad that I saved like forever. And then I drew pulled another magazine image and stamped the, shut the, shut the front door. This is from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And I decorated with washi tape and doodled. And this is from a new grocery store that's been opening all around Chicago and the Burbs. A lot of it's um, replacing some another local grocery store that shut closed its doors. Um, Dominic's. So that's that week. And this is last week. And last week, you can see it's blank. Um, last week's prompt was have somebody draw something on your uh, planner and then you finish it and I was like okay what am I gonna do just get send you know send my planner to somebody and say draw something that wasn't gonna work so um this just came today even though it was mailed like last week I drew some I was in a stream and so is Jenna which is scrappy camper sister uh you stream and thank YouTube and she said that, you know, I'll, well, I draw a little something for and send it to her, and she'll draw something and send it to me. I was like, okay. So I did this horrible grade school drawing of a coffee cup and a little background. I know it's not the best. And I got hers today. It took a while, and this is what it looks like. And then... Of course, it was upside down. This is what it looks like. 
that side and that's the inside. A dictionary page and she just sold parts of it and did some doodling and stuff and this is what I have to finish up. Color her in and all that stuff. And that's the back and her envelope is all fancied up too. I don't want to show that because them short addresses. <laughs> so that's last week. E oh no, that was two weeks ago. This is last week. Yeah. See, didn't mean to do that. Last week's was um, write your name out and doodle inside. And I didn't really doodle inside. And did doodle some parts. And nothing happened. Oh, I see. The other week I got a thank you card for the baby shower they smashed in there and last week I put some receipts in there. Um, I got a doctor's appointment, went to Walgreens and got some of the Russell Stover's eggs. The best ones besides the red velvet one that's new. Well the red velvet eggs not new but the new one is um the cookie dough one. I haven't tried the birthday cake one, but I like the cookie dough. The rest of the, the carrot cake and the wine cake I didn't like. Maybe because it was white chocolate. <laughs> and I hate white chocolate. And I also went on the 31st to the post office. Now I'm going to ramble on about the post office. I mailed four things. Um, I mailed three of the winnings. And I haven't heard from the fourth one, so I might do another redraw. Um, and one of the winners lives, like, not too far from me. So I figured that would be the first one to get it. And I went and looked at the tracking, because there's tracking on all of them. Looked at it the other day, and everybody got their packages, except for the one that lives the closest to me. It was, when I looked at it, it was still sitting in Forest Park's um, mail center. So, hopefully she gets it soon. And then this week's was monochromatic. And, of course, I did pink. <laughs> I did, I took out all the pink craft paint that I had with the watered down stuff and the not watered down stuff. I only have three watered down pink craft paint. So I did, uh, took some of the um, pink craft paint and just uh, painted the um, base with a bubblegum pink and then I just sten used stencils and sponged the stuff on and I did take some white and um, splattered and made some drips and I glued down this image from a magazine and this is from Prima that mirror sticker thing and this is from Ginger House Studios and I glued that on and that's that and then I, you know, can see the week's still going on I gotta write what we did today and that's that I think I rambled on long enough so I'll be back with another video thanks for